do a recipe called paella. Paella is a speciality from Spain, who has been originated from the 19th century and has been born by the Arabic people who tried to conquer Spain. So they brought rice from Asia and it's become quickly a popular dish and they add some fish or some meat like chicken, rabbits, snails or chorizos. It was pretty much as the chef mood to decide and what was available on the market at that time. Today is a very popular dish in West Europe countries, Latin American countries, North American countries, but also European immigrant who goes to Louisiana called Jambaloya is a version of paella. You have basically three types of paella. You have the paella called Valencianza, who are made with chicken, tomato and vegetable. Then you have the seafood paella, who are basically made with a mix of different seafood. And then you have the mixed paella, who are a mix of meat and seafood. It could look a little bit strange, but believe me, it's my favorite. So what do you need to make a very good paella? We're going to introduce right now the ingredients. First you need some chicken. Then you have spicy sausages like chicken sausages. Personally, I like them very spicy, but that's up to the taste of everyone. Then you have some chorizo, of course. It couldn't be a very good paella without the chorizos. You need also some green beans. That's very excellent for your health. Garlics. Lemon sliced and lemon juice that I pre-made over here. Saffron is one of the very essential components of a good paella. Saffron is a very expensive spice, but it really makes a difference to a very good paella. Some jalapenos, very important, especially for someone spicy like me. Once coming to the rice, you have the choice between Calapara rice, Valencia rice, or Bomba rice. You can use either of them, and it's very good. And if you just want to have regular rice, that's okay too. Some red onion that we're gonna fry. Tomatoes, fresh tomatoes, we're gonna make into a very delicious tomato sauce. Red pepper, beautiful red pepper. There is a mix of little spices I like to add. There is green mustard, ground coriander, paprika, and cayenne pepper. And of course, some chicken broth. So now we're gonna start by doing our tomato sauce. I do recommend to use olive oils, Olive oils have been a big thing in Europe. So let's put some olive oil to start over there. I know it's very not for frying, but believe me, it makes a different taste and it's very delicious. Then you're gonna take your tomatoes that you have cut previously and you're gonna put into teaspoon right here. And then you're gonna wait a few seconds that is getting hot enough and we're gonna add the chicken and the chicken sausages as well as the chorizos. So after I put the tomatoes, I'm gonna add some little garlics, probably like four or five goods of garlics. That's perfect for two people, it's great. There we go, put over here. In the same time, you're gonna add your cut onion into a separate pan that's gonna be basically for your paella. And you're gonna wait a little bit, you know, that is taking some nice colors. 
I like to add some jalapenos into my tomatoes. Either way is very good, so you can put into the tomatoes or into this one for the base of the paella. You're gonna add the red pepper with the tomatoes after a few minutes of cooking. There we go. And then you're gonna start with your chicken right here. You're gonna add to the onion when the color is right. Then your spicy sausages. And you're gonna wait a little bit. Chorizo is gonna be at the end. Because chorizo is very easy to cook. Chicken stock is great. So now you're having a nice color for the meat, as you can see right here. I'm gonna add the spices. So basically the spices we saw earlier, I'm just gonna mix it together. There we go. The beans right here. There we go. All right. I'm gonna add my lemon juice with the meat. Lemon juice is great. It makes a very fantastic taste. And of course, our star spice today, saffron. Look at that. Oh, nice. Mix of vegetable. Isn't it beautiful? Mmm. I just want to eat right now. <laughs> I'm so hungry. <laughs> this is beautiful. I'm telling you, it's going to be awesome. And the chicken too, right here. Nice, look at that. Wow, beautiful. So now is the right time to add your rice. You add your rice into your meat pan, basically. Just like that. Try to put a little bit everywhere. All right, nice. And then you cover with your stock or your chicken broth. Make sure it's all covered up so the chicken and the rice melt together and have time to cook. All right. That's pretty enough. You add the chorizo right here. That's really at the end. So here we go. And then, of course, you cover up. Here we go. Serve nice. That looks so yummy. And then you add your vegetables. The tomatoes, the red pepper, jalapenos, and the beans. And then when you get here, a special pahela, delicious, I can't wait to taste it.